Sally Steele and welcome to my show. Rock History is Told. My film, Raised on Rock, The Burnett Family Legacy is finally out on Amazon. Don't miss it. I wrote, produced, and directed this film and I can't wait for you to see it. Today, I am going to tell you about my crazy adventure going up to film Mick Fleetwood at his house. So when me and my other cameraman pulled up to Mick's house, we were informed that he's already filming another documentary and we would have to wait outside. So while we're sitting in the car, I'm hearing all oh, this racket going on, this hammering and chainsaws, and I'm like, we can't film with that stuff going on. So I decided to walk up the street and see what all the commotion was. So I decided to go up the street and talk to the workers and they all kind of gather around and watching this woman walk up the street wondering what she wanted and I asked them who was in charge and I met a really nice man named Edwin and I explained my situation that we were here to film Mick and he actually took me through the house and we could spy on the other documentary where Mick was filming out by the pool. And the other documentary had all these big, powerful lights and equipment and, you know, we just had our little lights and little cameras. So I asked Edwin if he wouldn't mind stopping hammering and working for about 30 minutes while I interviewed Mick. And he said, okay. So when we were let in to Mick's house, I started setting up with our little lights and little cameras. And they said, well, come on inside where it's a lot more quiet in a studio and I, I said no I want to film out by the pool I asked in the email that I want an outdoors scene with a view so they said well it's really noisy out there and I said that's okay I want to get the shot outside by the pool and they finally said okay so Mick came out and we were ready to film with our little lights and little cameras and but the lights weren't really showing up on his face because they were so little and I put him sitting in the sun so I got really lucky and the sun was just setting and it was perfect lighting on his face with the natural sun and it made some really good filming. Okay, well we're here at the top of Mulholland Drive with the great, the legendary Mick Fleetwood. How are you doing today? Thank you for A your... living legend, right? <laughs> <laughs> A legend in your oh, no. spare time. Yeah, working. in my spare time, for sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> we appreciate you coming out and talking to us. Uh, All good. Obvious question. Tell me about Billy Burnett. All in one sentence. But as soon as we started filming, the hammering started up next door. It was like bang, bang, bang. Oh, uh, well, Billy, first of all, is a dear, dear friend. And that's the beginning of your nightmare. So I called up to Edwin and I said, Hey Edwin, it's Sally. Can you stop hammering and working for about 30 minutes? And he's like, Okay Sally, we'll take a break. Hey, well we're here at the top of Mulholland with the legendary Mick Fleetwood. Thank you for talking with us today. You're welcome. Well, obvious question. Tell us about Billy Burnett. Billy Burnett. Well, first of all, Billy is a dear, dear friend. Can you tell us a funny story maybe of you and Billy back in the day on the road? Oh my God, a funny story? There were too many. We walked into a lobby of a hotel somewhere up going up to, to Canada. We pulled into this hotel and there's a plant much like the one there and it was big, a rubber plant, you know, mm -hmm. green artsy rubber plant. And one of the things that Billy would do where he would go and eat, start eating the plant in the lobby, <laughs> down on his knees, like, like, like an animal, oh, like yeah. whatever. <laughs> and he'd go, <gasps> So he got through it. My cameraman filmed the scene of me and Mick together, and I filmed the close-ups with Mick. And unfortunately, the camera had cut off in about 15 minutes, but we still got enough footage to use. And I was really happy because I didn't really have a lot of experience with my camera. But the day before I left for California, I went into a camera store and I said, Hey, I'm shooting a documentary. Tell me what I need. And we got the camera and the lens set up. And 
I asked him what button to press and I go, great, see you later. And I just went out to California to shoot MIG Fleetwood. We packed everything up and rolled our wires up and our lights and we packed things in the car, talked about the shoot and kind of piddled around. And before I knew it, an hour and a half had gone by. And then all of a sudden I hear this, hey Sally, can we go back to work? And I was like, oh my God, I forgot about the guys going to work up there. So I yelled up to Edwin, I'm like, yeah Edwin, it's okay, you can go back to work now. I mean, it was an hour and a half. He probably had a siesta up there and a beer fest while I was down there filming and fiddling around. So after we got in the car, I decided to go back up and thank Edwin for his help. And I wanted to take a photo with all the guys and the one worker was like, uh, I don't know, are you with immigration? And we all laughed and I took the photo and they were nice guys and I was so indebted to Edwin for his help. Thank you, Edwin, wherever you are. Thank you for helping me make rock history. Oh, and if you haven't seen the film, Raised on Rock, The Burnett Family Legacy, it's now out on Amazon. So please watch it and leave a review. Make sure you go to my YouTube page, youtube.com slash at Raised on Rock. Check it out because we'll have a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of deleted scenes, and a lot more goodies. So tune in next week. And don't forget to watch my film and please leave a review. See you next time.